Good morning, dear students. How are you? This is Ms. Wafa Mustafa, and in this video, we are going to take grammar lesson of Unit 1. So, Unit 1 is about Bear's Plum Tree. So, the first grammar lesson is about sentence and fragment. But before we start the lesson, we have to know what is a sentence and what is a fragment. So, a sentence is a group of words that express a complete thought. So, it, the sentence must have meaning. What about the sentence? What does it mean? So, a sentence needs a subject which tells you who or what the subject is about and it needs a verb. And the verb expresses action that tells you what the subject is doing. So, this is so important, guys. A sentence always begins with a capital letter and it ends with a full stop. So, any sentence that you want to write, you have to make sure it begins with, yes, capital letter and it ends with a full stop or a period. So, let's take an example. Sam loves ice cream. Is it a sentence or not? What do you think, guys? Yes, this is a sentence. Super. Why is it, is it a sentence? Because it begins with a capital letter. The S in Sam is capital here. And it ends with a period. So, does it give you a meaning? Yes, it is. Sam loves ice cream. So, right now, I know that Sam loves ice cream. He loves eating ice cream. So, where is the subject and a verb? Yes, Sam here is the subject. We are talking about Sam. And what does he love? So, Sam is the subject. What about the verb? Ice cream is a verb. Can we say that? No, for sure not. So, the, the verb here is what? Yes, the verb is loves. That's correct, guys. Super. What about the second example? The children are playing. Is it a sentence or not? Does it give you a complete thought? Yes, it is. So, this is a sentence. Does it begin with a capital letter? Yes, the T here in the is capital. Does it end with a period? Let's see. Yes, we have period here or we have a follow stop. So, this is a sentence. The children are playing. So, where is the subject? And where is the verb? Let's see. The children are playing. So, this sentence is about the children and they are playing. So, the children here is the subject. What about the verb? Do we have a verb here? Yes, are playing is the verb. That's correct, guys. Super. Let's take exercise one. Here are a group of words. Let's take the ones that are sentences and cross out those that aren't. So, let's see the first one. There are many books in the library. Do you think this is a sentence? Does it give you a complete thought? Does it begin with a capital letter? Does it end with a period? Yes, that's correct. All these questions are correct. So, this is a sentence. There are many books in the library. So, it gives us a complete thought. And the T here and there is capital. And it ends with period. So, this is a sentence. So, let's put a tick. That's correct. Let's see the next one. Ben has a pet dog. Does it give you a complete thought? Yes. The sentence is about Ben and he has a pet dog. So, does it begin with a capital letter? The B here and Ben? Yes. The B and Ben is capital. And it ends with a period. It's here. So, do we have a subject and a verb here? Ben is the subject. Has is the verb. So, yes, it's correct sentence. So, let's put a tick. That's correct. What about this one? And they. Is it a sentence? Does it give you a complete thought? No, right? We don't understand anything from this one. So, this is not a sentence. Does it have a verb? And a, and, and a subject? No, it doesn't. 
So again, it's not a sentence. And it doesn't begin with a capital letter, and there is no period here. So this is not a sentence. So let's put a cross out. What about this one? Jane is my best friend. Does it give you a complete thought? Yes. So this is a sentence. G the G here in Jane is capital. That's correct. What about a period? Do we have a period here? Yes, we have a period. So this is a sentence. Jane is my best friend. Jane is a subject. And is is the verb. That's correct, guys. So this is a sentence. Let's put a tick. That's correct. Is sharp. Is it a sentence? Does it give you a complete thought? What is sharp? We don't know. There is no knife, for example. The knife is sharp. We don't know. What is sharp? We don't know. So it doesn't give us a complete thought. It doesn't make sense. So does it begin with a subject? No, there is no subject here. But there is a verb. But again, it doesn't give you it doesn't give us a complete thought. So this is not a sentence. And for sure it doesn't begin with a capital letter and there is no period here. So this is not a sentence. What about this one? Playing children. The the are it doesn't give us a complete thought again, so this is not a sentence. Yes, we have a cross out here. What about this one? The adults are sweet. Does it give us a complete thought? Yes, it is. Does it begin with a capital letter? Yes, the T here in that is capital, and it ends with period. So, do we have a subject and a verb? Yes, the subject is the adults, and the verb is are. So this is a sentence. So let's put a tick. Super, guys. That's super, super amazing class. Now let's go to exercise two. The given sentences do not make sense. Let's try to correct them. So we have some sentences, but they are missing something, or they are messy. So let's rearrange them one more, one more. So tool is the building very. This, this doesn't give us a complete thought, so we have to rearrange them. So let's see the answer. The building is very tall. The building is very tall. Now it gives us a complete thought and it makes sense. So the subject here is the building and the verb is is. So this is a sentence. And as you can see here, the T in the is capital. And the and it ends with a period. So this is a sentence. What about this one? Healthy is water, drink, a uh, coconut. It doesn't make sense. Let's put them in a correct order. Coconut water is a healthy drink. You know coconut? So coconut has some water and this water this water is so healthy. So coconut water is a healthy drink. Now it gives us a complete thought and it makes sense. Coconut water is the subject and is is the verb. Let's see the next one. Bright, it is sunny today. Let's see. It's bright and sunny today. So this is a sentence. It here is the subject and is is the verb. It is bright and sunny today. It begins with a capital letter ends with a period, so this is a sentence. What about the last one? Math, I learning love. It doesn't give us sense. It doesn't give us a complete thought. Let's see how can we rearrange them. I love learning math. Now it gives us a complete thought and now it makes sense. I here is the capital. That is the capital letter as you can see. And we have a period at the end, so this is a sentence. I is the subject, love is the verb, so yes, it's correct, guys, and it is a sentence. I love learning math. So, let's go to the fragment. What is a fragment, guys? Do you know? A fragment is an incomplete sentence. So, 
if you have a sentence and it gives you a complete thought, this is a sentence. But if, it, if the sentence doesn't give you a complete thought, so it will be a fragment. So a fragment, again, is an incomplete sentence. So what are fragments missing? They could be missing a verb, a subject, or you can have a subject and a verb, but it doesn't give express or it doesn't give us a complete thought. Let's see example. Should have gone to the movies. Who should have gone to the movies? Do you know? I don't know. Because there is no subject here. So this sentence, this is not a sentence. This is a fragment. Why so? Because we don't have a subject. So look here. Thi this is missing a subject. We don't know who should have gone to the movies. And if you remember, the sentence must have a subject and a verb. Do we have a verb here? Yes, we have a verb here. Should have gone. What about the subject? Do we have a subject here? No, we don't. So this is a fragment. So guys, if you want if you want to write a paragraph or if you want to write a sentence, make sure your sentence have or your sentence has a subject and a verb. What about the next example? The amazed family. What uh, what about them? Yes. What about them? Do we have a verb here? The amazed family, and that's it. We don't know what this family is doing now. We don't know. We don't know. We know nothing about them. So this is not a sentence. This is a fragment. Why so? Because we don't have a verb. The amazed family. Yes. What about them? What are they doing? We don't know. So this is a fragment because it's missing a verb. We don't have a verb here. Let's see the next one. George enjoys. George enjoys what? We don't know. So again, one more time. This is a fragment because we we it doesn't make sense. We don't understand what does George enjoy. So this this has a subject and a verb, but it doesn't give us a complete thought. So this is a fragment, guys, because we don't know what George enjoy. So even though we have a subject which, which is George and we have a verb which is, which is enjoys but it doesn't express a complete thought we don't know what does George enjoys so that's why this is a fragment that's all about sentence and fragment guys and next time inshallah we're going to take lesson 2 in grammar thank you and bye bye see you next time